hi so this is meant to be just a quick video about how we lubricate the trunnion bearing for our, uh, our meals so in the case of our plant at indola lafarge we have uh, raw mules cement mules but the principle of lubrication for the trunnion bearings is basically the same so we know our meal is like that the bow mules so that would be the, the meal shell where we have our charge inside. Of course, there will be some lining material, some liners. But what I'm interested in is what happens on the ends. Because on the end, we have an extension which anchors the meal. That's the trunion. So the trunion is where the entire weight of the meal rests. So it's a rotating member, meaning we need a bearing. So what we have is uh, a plain bearing. If I were to draw it from the side view, if we're looking from that side, it will be like in a bit of an arc. Just they are not too big. Yeah. So that uh, the trunnion, the trunnion rests on top there. And so we know this is made of white metal to, and it is anchored in position there. There are some stoppers which prevent it from... Um, which prevent the meal, the, the trunnion from falling off. And so now, this thing has to be lubricated. We need the continuous stream of oil entering there. So the question is, how is it done? That's what I want to briefly show you. So we have uh, this entire assembly where this thing sits and it is filled with a bed of oil. So this oil is supplied from the side above the trunnion so that when oil falls in, it just falls in there and falls uh, right under there. Then we have some scoops which pick up the oil and they discharge it just at the top there. In fact, I'm not sure if it's scoops or the pump acting from outside helps to push this oil to the top. I'll have to confirm. So, but the oil, lubrication oil finds itself at the top there. Then it gently slides onto the trunion, on the side of the trunion, and this squeezes itself under the bearing. So now, the key thing we're interested in is how this oil or lubricant finds its way inside this uh, container for oil. So, you can imagine for this oil to go in there, it has to be clean. And it needs to be pumped so what we will have is uh, some kind of uh, first filter so that uh, this which is going to the to the to the trunnion is clean so we we'll have a filter there of clean making sure only clean oil goes inside and so now where is this coming from it is being pumped there's a pump somewhere downstream but you also need to make sure that it is the right temperature we don't want to take hot oil from there so just uh, between the filter and the pump we'll have some sort of heat exchanger so it will be like a longitudinal tube which will have water coming in and there will be a pipe section inside so that the water goes in and comes out taking away the heat from the oil Whereas the oil also have its own pipes uh, passing there. And then here we will have our pump. Pump, which of course is connected to a motor. This is the one which will be pushing the oil through the cooler, through the filter and into where the trunnion bearing is. And of course, where will this be coming from? We will have some sort of uh, container for oil just um, some container for oil just above there which is also mm -hmm. so we we'll have something like a an oil settling pot so oil will be in there providing a constant flow to the pump so that it doesn't uh, have some sort of airlock and this is uh, upward so that everything which is coming into the pump has no air and you know this 
is the where we pump in our oil to make sure we have a continuous supply. And of course, to make the cycle complete, this will be connected to the bottom of, of the, the, the overall container, the overall bearing housing, bearing area. Yeah. So, we have oil being pushed in there. It goes in, uh, greases the bearing, falls down. Then when it falls down, there will be a lot of oil in here. This will move to the side where we have a settling port for oil there. And it is from the settling port that the pump will be acting, pushing the oil through the cooler, through the filter, and up again into the area for for the trunnion bearing for lubrication. I don't know if it's making sense. Yeah, so basically that's how the lubrication is done. So this will go into the entire area. And uh, just one more thing, as I was saying, I wasn't very sure at first, but I'm starting to think it should be like this, where on the end of the trunnion, we will have some scoops, which will be rotating together with the trunnion. So and when they go down, they'll pick some oil, and uh, they'll drop it just at the top. Here we'll have a small tray, a distribution uh, tray or plate. So oil will fall on it, then slide to the sides. Then we also have... Uh, some pipe just around here which will ensure some even distribution of uh, this lubricant so basically this is how we lubricate trunnion bearings